Have you ever wondered how much food that you should be consuming while following one meal a day? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to figure that out. Hey, Wellness Warrior, I'm Dr. Zorowski, and one of the top questions I get around one meal a day is, well, how much food do I need to eat? How much fats and proteins and carbs should I be consuming? How many calories do I need? Well, I'm gonna show you how to figure this out because as your weight changes, as your lifestyle changes, your numbers also will too. So I need to show you how to come to the conclusion as to what you need, not just give it to you. And this is very important because what you need versus what somebody else needs is very different. And when you go from following a diet where maybe you're consuming three meals a day or even and two meals a day and you go all the way down to one meal a day, it can be a little bit warping on the mind as to do I need more food or less food? And so it's always good to understand exactly what you need. What we're gonna use is we're gonna use my weight as an example in order to kind of take us through and show you exactly what you need. So my weight's 185 pounds. And after I know my weight, one of the things I wanna understand is, well, how many calories do I need to maintain this weight? So what I do is I go online and I go to like caloriecalculator.net and basically say, hey, I'm 185 pounds, I'm 6'1", I am exercising four to five times per week. I'm a male and I put my age in. I put in all that information in there. And once I put that in there, it's going to say, hey, you need 2,700 calories every day if you want to maintain that weight. Now that I have this information, I go, well, hmm, how many grams of fat do I need? How much protein do I need? So we're going to go right to our fats, okay? But I do want to mention this before we start on our fats. I want to point out that more often than not, people are messing up protein. So I want you to pay special attention and prioritize your protein. The reason for this is because when somebody's trying to lose weight, they eat a lot of vegetables and they also tend to eat a lot of fats and even some carbohydrates, but they always skip the protein. And then somebody who's following a really unhealthy diet, they tend to eat a lot of carbs and then the fats and then little amounts of protein. But we don't want to do that. We want to focus on protein and prioritize it. Let's talk about fats first. How are we going to come to the conclusion as to how much we need in the way of fats? First, we'll take our calories and we'll take that number and we'll times it by 0.6, divide it by 9, and then it will give us how much we need. Let's actually go through that calculation. So we took my calories. 2,700. We times it by 0.6 and then it gives us 1,620 calories. So that means that we need to consume, or I need to consume, not you, 1,620 calories worth of fat every day. Now if I divide that by 9, because there's 9 calories in a gram of fat, if I divide that by 9, it gives me 180 grams of fat. There we go. I figured out how much fat I need. So obviously you go and you take your calories and you times that by 0.6 and you come to that conclusion as to how many calories were the fat you need every day and then you have your grams once you divide this number by nine. Let's go talk about protein. Now protein, what we're gonna do is take our weight and I'm giving you like the easiest way to figure these things out. If our protein, we're gonna take our weight and we're gonna times it by 0.8, that'll tell us how many grams we need. So if we have 185 pounds times 0.8, that leads us to 148 grams of protein. Now you're probably wondering, hmm, how many calories is 148 grams of protein? Well, if we go and we look at how much calories are found in one gram of protein, Protein, it's four. Four calories per gram of protein. So we times this number by four and we arrive at 592. So thus far we have basically 1,620 calories worth of fat. We have 592 calories worth of protein. And guess what that gives us? 2,212 calories. So now I have 2,212 calories. And what I found out earlier is that I can consume this many calories per day. So therefore, now I can go fill the rest in with vegetables. I can put my carbs in. Maybe I consume about 100 grams of carbs and there's four calories per gram of carbs. So 100 grams of carbs will give me 400 calories. And then, like I said, we're just gonna put the rest in with vegetables. There you have it. This is what you need to do in order to figure out what you should be eating whenever your weight changes, whenever your physical activity changes, you can constantly move these numbers around. And remember, this is important to understand too, that these numbers are never perfect. It really depends on how your body's gonna respond. What you might find is that you start off with these numbers that I'm explaining here, and then you start to manipulate them a little bit more because now you understand them and you can change them to see how your body's responding. Do I do a little bit better with higher protein? Do I do a little bit better with lesser protein or higher or lower fats or more or less carbs? Do I need this many calories? You can change all these things now that you know how to do it. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'll really like this video over here next.